Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Danjo, here with part 18, I want to say, of Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition. I hope you guys are all doing well today. And on today's episode, we are continuing the Broken Sky main quest. Mm. There it is. Uh, had a nice little boip there. Felt uh, very good. And uh, yeah, we gotta go meet Catalo, I think is what his name is. Is that what it said? Yeah, it's Stonecrest. Which, um, when we meet him, you guys uh, may recognize the voice actor. Which, I mean, we're close enough now, yeah. It's all... Gwavy. It's all Gwavy. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. Beautiful. Like, mmm. Mmm, I can't resist sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> um... A bit later. There we go. Although I could just. That's a weird transition. I mean, I am doing, like, time manipulation, so... <laughs> kind of makes sense it would be a weird transition, but... I just kind of want to see a couple of the different ways the shadows will be cast here. That'd be... yep. Could be better. I'm just gonna wait on that. Alrighty. This must be Stonecrest. Catalo should be waiting for me. But you, maybe I should look around first. Do you guys really Oh, that's the main way. Okay. It's like there is no way you guys all do this every time you go into town. <laughs> It's not normal water, is it? Hmm. We're stuck on guard duty. That's rough. That fight was a sight to behold. Wait, you were there? Ah, the wandering My whole squad went. Come, crave. Let's just restock the usual stuff. What? Hmm. What do you got? Oh, I have ten champions tokens again. Uh, but there's not really anything I wanted to get. Maybe the blast sling. Ooh, or maybe the sharp shot. Uh, overdraw, critical hit, explosion chance, shock chance. I mean, that's all pretty good. I kind of want that. Mm, but it doesn't do plasma. Overdraw, knockdown, damage over time. Oh, for the acid? Hmm. Do 
idea. I'm thinking either the sharp shot or the blast sling, and I don't really know which one I would rather do. Sharp shot, we already got Grave Singer's Lament. Which I think this is the the expansion one? Maybe? Possibly? Stealth, multiple, overdraw. Eventually draw speed, but it's kind of meh, you know? Oh, these episodes are recorded in glorious 4K60, by the way, guys, in HDR, so if the colors look off to you or anything looks off, be sure to watch in a 4K HDR compatible display. I've been forgetting to mention that at the beginning of the episodes lately. Um, the way that YouTube tone maps, though, for standard for SDR displays is not as bad as I thought it was. It's not great, but it's not bad. So I don't have a blast sling that's very good that does explosive. This one's okay, but I kind of really miss using those kind of things. And I could really, like, if it has five coil slots, I could really modify it to be something fantastic. And yeah, we got like basically all the elemental shit, but I never use adhesive. I rarely use most of these. And yeah, ne Oh, this one does fire. Okay, I was about to say, like, I guess I can't do fire? Fire, ice, and purge water. I mean, those are the main ones I use. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with the Blast Sling. Come back. Yeah, because I, I already have a really good Sharp Shot. I mean, this one might be better eventually, but... I mean, come on. I mean, it depends. Because if I can already do the upgrades... This might be really good. Plus the concentration damage boost. The overdraw damage. Like, this would be cool, but how often am I going to use it? You know? Plus, if I remember correctly, it's that first ammo type that is the most interesting to me, but let me check and see what you need for the ammo for that, and why is that still... Yeah, it doesn't matter nearly as much. Uh... Siege Blast Sling, that's the one. Um, take off the Sky Hammer temporarily. Okay, so to make the advanced explosive bombs. Volatile Sludge, Blast Plate, Machine Muscle... Yeah, anything that requires Volatile Sludge, I'm not going to use that often. Plus it only makes four. Like, if I wanted to use that in a fight, I'd pull, burn through that so quick. And then I'd have to go back to a freaking uh, stash. So... It doesn't seem very economical. Um, I forgot I'm 
practically out of arrows. So, yeah, I'll do the sharp shot. Because, like, the main reason I bust out the blast sling in the first place is to do the elemental stuff. Like, if I really need to. And since we already have all the basic elements, like, covered. Except for plasma, but I don't know if there are plasma bombs. I got the forge fall for that, that's a good one. Actually, is that the only weapon I have that does plasma? The glow blast sharp shot, I guess. Is it just a sharp shot thing? I thought there were other... I guess the canister... That one says it does plasma. That's a decent amount. Arrow of the same element. Oh, that's a pain. Oh. Spike thrower does plasma spikes. Okay. Ooh, right, bolt blasters. At least that one does. Okay. It doesn't come up very often, though. Um, hey, 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 could you not do that while I'm standing right here? <laughs> Blessing Tripcaster with Plasma Tripcaster. So that's not bad. That's pretty good. It's, it's the only other one that has Plasma anything. But it's a damage type too, like explosive damage. I don't think I have anything else that has explosive damage. Spikes are, the explosive spikes are like very costly. Bolt Blaster does have one that... I, I just don't like the Bolt Blaster weapons. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard... It's a hard... It's a tough call. It really is. Shit. I mean, with the right modifications, I could make it really good. I mean, the projectile speed is also kind of a problem. All right. Turn to me yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna go through and see... What the hell is that? Oh, Berserk. Right, that was the thing they added in the... expansion. Um... If there's anything else I have that does explosive... Or blast, or whatever they call it. Last sling, which I forgot to take that off. There we go. I mean, trip casters, but and spikes. Oh. Okay, so I already have this one that can do. It's a very small amount of blast, like explosive, though. 
anything that does a decent amount. Yeah, I, I just I don't have it. Spectre Gauntlet has a little bit. Like a little bit, but it has no coil slots. That's not really what it's for. Okay, because it's a damage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They just showed. Oh. Gotcha. The area damage with knockback, right? State build up speed. Oh, right. That was the nice part about explosive. That's because it basically staggers. pretty consistently. Right, right. So yeah, Berserk is not necessary or even really a damage type, but Plasma, Acid, Purge, Water, Shock, Frost, Fire, and we... I can use Shock Arrows, right? Yeah, Death Seeker Shadow has shock arrows. Okay. Plus, are there shock bombs? There were in the first game, weren't there? Are they not in this one? I swear some blast slings had shock bombs. Maybe that's not a thing anymore. Um, That is a lot of shock buildup. Okay, so yeah, for shock, we're good. So plasma acid, purge water, shock, frost, fire, we have all that. Explosive is the one that I can't really inflict that well. So because it's a damage type, yeah, I'll take the blast sling. All right. Legacy's reach, yep. That's what I want. From the legacy, what? It's accurate at long range. Prime enemies for plasma blast. Instant plasma blast chance. Yes. Why? But it doesn't. Okay. I don't get the thing about. Yeah, just buy it. I don't want to equip it. The plasma Are thing? You sure you keep that in but. Good yeah, let me check your work bench. bench. Wait, what's the one? The Quinn Marine, that's what I wanted to... Yeah, I guess that's what I decided on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I could improve... Yeah, it's all good. Atmosphere Evader, no, it's not worth it. Alright. Um, oh wait. Not bad. Doesn't have weapon stamina regen, but does this one? Oh, it's just called stamina regen, right? Yeah, so it's probably not worth it. Um, Crimson Lament, need Brimshine, right? These probably also require more Brimshine, of course they do. Starting a spike thrower, tie the binds, whatever. Forgefall, Sharp Shot, Legacy's Reach. That's the new one. 
Wow. And that's for the first upgrade. Wow. Okay, all right. I guess nothing for now. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, Catalo. Where's Catalo? What's he looking at? Is that the champion from the East I see? Then I've something to share. Okay. I can't. Oh, right. They tell you about uh, different side quests and shit. Scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chieftain from behind the bulwark. Biding his time. Hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? For now? You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. 
Neither will be easy. Never is. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Please, just me. hear me out and you can be on your way. How would you convince Takote to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. Rebels ahead. Hacking away at that machine. Gut them. Or sneak around. I will follow. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing. Take the lead. Let's 
go. This way. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well, maybe we can change his mind. It's in the mountains. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Your arrows be true. Stay focused. Follow through. Hello? What's he doing with an outlander? The last marshal. Marshal Katawa. I guess it would be nice to have a friend there. That settles it then. 
Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. In the name of the ten. Sad to see the snow end sometimes. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow, if he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. Tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? Mm, maybe because we're gonna take down the wall. Yeah, screw this. I can just jump. Hey, why is it telling me to go this way? What? What? That wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Not bad. What do you think, Ross? Mm. Yeah, we got a few minutes. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. Isn't that what I needed to? Just what I yeah. Thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. Hmm. Where is this water coming from? 
uh, somewhere wet. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Flowing into the wall. Oh, rocks here might give way if I pry at them. Now, better scan that tank again. The power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. Yeah, oh, there he is. The guard said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Takote said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark, right? Oh, don't remind me. So, we take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. <sighs> Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. <laughs> the rebels might have made camp northeast of here. Unkind, but accurate. The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Well, you may lack sense, but you don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. The Sky Clan will fall. <laughs> yeah! will blow if I hit it with a shock arrow.
stamina for... You'll wish you never crawled out of that hole. I'm not looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. After you. Hey, you fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive, but killing the rebels and the machine, it was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? I'll know soon enough.
Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. It's working! Nothing's exploding. This isn't gonna work. Well, isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves. And leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now. And take this cripple with you. Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will. We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon, let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I can fast travel back here. Um, they do experienced. Yeah, we obviously don't have time for a game of Machine Strike right now. Um, around, I guess, of Machine Strike. But there's this campfire right over Thanks, here. Chaplain Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Also, yeah, don't have to use the lift anymore, right? safe behind the wall anymore. Uh, there's 
wanted to actually like try the path because I don't usually do that. Oh, Stonecrest. Ooh, they had a machine strike as well. Q. Oh, maybe next time. That's to meters coordinates. Okay, it's not actually that far. Um. Okay, so we have to go back and start the coal route, basically. And I don't think there's anything. I could go back to the base, but it actually doesn't matter for now. Um, like the next big thing, obviously, is after we get um. Aether. That's the one. That's the one. Yep, so we'll go back to the base after that. I don't know why it showed fast travel pack it for like a quarter of a second. That was weird. But, um, yeah. Mm, thank you all for being here, guys. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, before we get going, I do really love this place. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. Um, yeah, of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novalis Dracos, the one, the only, the incredible. Thank you so much for checking out that join button, becoming a member, choosing to support the show more directly. It's greatly appreciated. And um, if you want to be incredibly awesome, like Novellus Draconis, check out that join button or the Farts and Crap Show Buy Me a Coffee. Either way, tier start at three bucks a month. It's only 10 cents a day. Gets the end of all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on this channel via the members' choice polls. All of the current series were selected by channel members. So, yeah. That's a way to directly influence the content that gets made here. Um, yeah, and we have Member's Choice poll once a month to uh, bring in a new series. And we already did the one for November. That was to select Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. But we will definitely have one for December as well. So, um... Yeah, just stay tuned. I'll keep you guys up to date on when that's going to be happening and everything. And yeah, I think that about wraps it up. So thank you all for being here, guys. I got to go make some food and stuff. And until uh, next time, take care and I hope you all have a fantastic day.